With three-finger democracy salutes held high, the protest leaders have each been brought before Bangkok's criminal court. They can lock me up, but they cannot lock up the truth. In all, 70 activists are being prosecuted. They're accused of defaming the king during or after mass protests in the Thai capital last year. Student leader Rung broke a long-standing taboo not to speak out against the monarchy when she read out a manifesto demanding curbs on the king's power and wealth. She's now facing nine charges under the royal defamation law. After these goodbyes outside court, her bail was revoked ahead of trial. I feel like going to jail is worth it already. Thailand has been changed hugely, like there's no return. Insulting, defaming or threatening the monarchy in Thailand is a serious crime, with jail terms between 3 and 15 years per offence. If Rung is found guilty, she could technically face a sentence of up to 135 years. If you look at other countries, even they have this law, it rarely been implemented. An opposition political party has proposed reducing the penalties, but protesters say they shouldn't be jailed at all for exercising freedom of speech. Their campaign has opened up a new divide in Thai society. Their critics say those charged repeatedly insulted a sacred institution and must face the consequences. You did it again, again and again. That's a problem. And every country, you know, if you break the law again and again, a penalty will be higher. Proud royalists who've held rallies defending the king say the protesters' views aren't shared widely. 90% of the Thai still want to protect the monarchy. Activists say their goal is not revolution, just reform. And despite the prosecutions, they'll keep up their campaign. Mazoe Ford, ABC News, Bangkok.